Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we are uh, Mile High Beach. We are full-time RVers. My name is Plachette. My wife's name is Alicia. And this is Charlie. And Charlie makes an appearance in a lot of these videos. Um, uh, but today's video is going to be all about Charlie. Uh, it was recently Mother's Day and he is our son. <laughs> so we wanted to talk a little bit about how we uh, travel with um, our son Charlie and maybe some tips on how to travel with a pet if you're traveling with, uh, with a, a, a fur baby. Fur baby. Um, mm -hmm. So thank you for being here. Um, and with that, we'll get started. Yeah, so we're going to cover a, a few topics here. Some some things that are just kind of normal as part of our normal, you know, being uh, doggy moms. And then, you know, as she said, some tips that, that might be good for you. So first we're going to start off with uh, veterinary services. Um, what's the name of our vet in San Diego? I forget. <laughs> uh, Mission... Uh, San Diego Mission? Mission? Mission Valley. Um, Mission Valley? Mission, Mission Valley Clinic. <laughs> We will put the name well, of we'll our... Put the, we'll put the name. <laughs> yeah, so... We don't go that often anymore. We don't, anymore, yeah. But they're the people we see when we're in San Diego. When we're in San Diego, yeah. yeah. We were just recently in San Diego. He had a visit there. Had and his they, annual, yeah, yeah. Yes. His annual, had his, his shots, and shots and everything. All of that, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and when you're on the road, you need to know who's going to be that service that's going to provide whatever's needed. And every time we go into a new area, that's one of the services that I look for. You know, hospital, vet, fire, police you know all of that veterinary services uh, are one of those and Charlie's had his teeth cleaned twice on the twice road? since we've been yeah. on the road once in in Durango, Durango. Uh, yeah and those folks were ago. fabulous yeah and then recently um, in St. George uh, in, in Utah yeah, yeah. Um, and again both of these veterinaries uh, did a fantastic job they did a fantastic job and I I think the one in Durango was like Riverside veterinary service whatever we'll put yeah. the we'll names, put the names of, them of them on all the all the vets that because we they to. were so good they were really really good and that's you know that's a worry right you know you're outside of your regular vet service area you want to make sure you have good services and we were able to find some great ones and you just need to look out for it ahead of getting to wherever you're going the next thing is you know getting his nice fresh cut and yeah. shampoo and he's, he's been, all well a balsam and recently, beautiful <laughs> he had a spa day he did have a spa and day and they did a great job Yes, and so one of the people that we use are PetSmart, and you know PetSmart Petco. Yeah, you know when yeah. when when um when the when the city allows, and when they have, um, believe it or not, when they have availability, sometimes they can yeah. be quite um, busy. Yeah, and not have availability that kind of aligns with our our schedule. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we do we do rely on them. But if we can, we like to find private um, businesses. Private businesses, yeah. PetSmart is kind of a default, when, like she said, when it's in the city, but you know, we haven't really had the best luck with PetSmart. The last one we went through, yeah. they, they cut off his eyebrows. We'll put a picture of that up here. You know, yeah. part of the schnauzer head includes the eyebrows. <laughs> includes this nice beard. Yes. Which he doesn't like anybody to touch. Yes, and some nice little eyebrows. And, nice, and, and we had a, he was a new groomer. Yeah. And, um, uh, and I always show pictures and yeah. describe what we're looking for. But, yeah. You know, sometimes we don't, we don't always get that, but yeah, yeah, they do the best they can. Yeah. And the local groomers have really been great. And he just recently went to a local groomer mm -hmm. and I forgot the name of that one too, but we'll put the we'll name of that name. one. Yeah. They were fantastic. But they did a great job. And we really appreciate that because actually for the same price that you would pay PetSmart, you actually get a really nice cut and, you know, great service. You services. can usually do it in less time. Low, way less time. Yeah. Way Pet less Smart, time. Petco. They usually can, three they, they usually need, yeah, because I guess just maybe because of volume, I'm, I'm not sure how their process works, but they usually need them about three hours. Yeah. Uh, this last groomer did, I think she was done in about 90 minutes. It was so great. About half the time. Yeah, it was really great. Yeah. And sometimes our camp neighbors <laughs> have been, yeah. you know, have offered to, you know, give him a nice fresh cut and, you know, get yeah, him all cleaned up. twice. Um, kind of quite randomly just because yeah. he's out and about and they see him. And, yeah. He's an and, ambassador. Yeah. And so they've offered. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that was really nice. Well, and we'll put a link to those two videos. It was at our helper video yeah. in Helper yeah. Utah. Where Tracy and Steve helped us. Tracy and Steve, and they were fantastic. We'll put photos of that. And then also when we were in Westview, uh, Westview, which was in Dolores, yeah. uh, Colorado. And that now, was Beth and Lee. That was Beth and Lee. Yeah. We'll put pictures of that too. Yeah. Um, yeah so that's always been great. So space, you know, you're, Fur baby needs their space in your RV. And so, Charlie, as I was writing this down, I'm like, he has a lot of spaces. <laughs> <laughs> he 
has a lot of spaces. First, he has his bed. He has his bed in the bedroom. Yeah, and that's at the foot of our bed. And he's got a nice comfy little bed there with a blanket where he gets tucked in at night. <laughs> He has this lounging space here in front right. of the fireplace. He has um, his food station right. over there right. by, in front of his cabinet. He also has a cabinet. His own cabinet with his dedicated items. items in it, yes. He loves to be out on the patio, so he has some space out there and a little bed out there. He's got a fantastic uh, uh, bed that he rides in the car. Oh, in. yeah, a really <laughs> nice bed for the car that we, you know, we seat belt the bed in. Yes. Um, and then seat belt him in. Yeah. Um, and then it's a really, yeah, it's a really nice, nice bed. Yes. Um, uh, I mean, and he likes it. And he does. He, he really likes it. He really likes um, it. Yeah. And then he sits out in the back with you sometimes in your office. Sometimes he sits back in the back. Any available lap that is yeah. in the house or anywhere, anywhere within or the vicinity. The yes. When we've had people come to visit us, he sits in their lap <laughs> or sits with them. When we've gone to visit other people, he sits in their lap. Yes. <laughs> so we'll put pictures of yeah, all of any that. Any lap. Yeah. He, any lap. He will get in that. Yes. Yes. He will get in that lap. <laughs> We have we have a wagon, one of those pop out wagons, and we've taken him in farmers markets to the wagons. Yeah, those fold up wagons. Yeah, we just unfold it and we'll put him in that. Yeah, and we can you know drag him around. Yeah, he's in the wagon sharing all the things that we're purchasing. Uh, yeah, sharing the space. Yep, yep. Um, but that's actually convenient, it's especially very in a convenient. crowded area. Very. Um, it's nice that you know because he's small he's only about 20 pounds mm. um and so people don't always see him yeah um you know so they may step on him so if he's in the wagon we don't have to worry about that yeah so we will use the wagon for that and it's really been great and we when we went to go to the hoover dam we had him on the way yeah. you know in the wagon yep. because it, you know, it was a fair amount of foot traffic there and then last but not least uh he likes to sit in the hammock when we have the hammock out and available he likes to plop himself with whoever <laughs> is in the hammock <laughs> Yes. Um, let's see. Places that he can go. You know, we, because we're out here and we're, we're, you know, one of our missions is to get to as many national parks as we can get to. There are some national parks that we can take dogs to because yeah. Joshua Tree was one of them. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and many of them, they'll allow you to take them in, um, but they're limited in where they can go in the park. So yeah. they have to stay on either the roads or, you know, certain paths. So, um, yeah. so we look for those places. Yeah. Um, and then on in those occasions, you know, when we can't, yeah, we, um, we can leave him here in the RV. We have um, a, a system here, Waggle, Waggle, yep, yep, that we use to that will monitor the temperature and kind of we'll send us some us. alerts mm -hmm. if the temperature changes, so we can come back and you know and, and deal with whatever might be going on. But he has a kennel. I don't know if you were going to talk about yeah, the his, kennel, his yeah, travel that, kennel, his travel kennel is another one um, of his spaces, and yeah. we've had that for years, and it's fantastic. And it pops up. And it falls and back, falls down. back down. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to store. Yeah, and he loves it. Yes, he, we kennel trained uh, Charlie very from early a puppy. On. Yeah, so his kennel is really kind of his comfortable space. Mm -hmm. um, we used to have a kennel at the house, mm -hmm. um, and that's where he that's where he slept. Yeah, and if he was not feeling comfortable or nervous or scared, he would go get in his kennel. Yep. Um, so we have a travel one. Yeah, and it works great. And you know, back to the National Park, if you look on the National Park Service app and you look at the National Park that you want to go to, it will absolutely tell you there what the deal is, whether where you can bring your dog, if you can bring your mm -hmm. dog, mm -hmm. and when you can bring your dog, where you can go in the park. So that's a really helpful. And we'll put a link to that app below. Uh, so a lot of state parks allow you to bring your mm -hmm. dog, so that's very nice. Um, some national monuments, again, just look that stuff up. We've taken them to lots of farmers' markets. Markets. There are some farmers markets where you can't take dogs, yeah. but we've taken them to a lot of farmers markets. Yeah, the ones that allow it, we certainly do bring him. Yep. And if it doesn't, you know, I'll just sit back with him usually, and then yeah. you know, I go do the shopping. Can go do all the shopping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we did a video recently about a, a city scavenger hunt. It's called Let's Roam, and we'll put a link to that video in here. Also, that's a great way to take your pet because there's no, you know, it's just on your own, and mm -hmm. you're just walking around the city. So if, as long as the temperature is great and everything, it's great to take your pet. And we've taken him on a couple of those. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 What's this new thing called? Gypsy God is not called that anymore. It's called something else. 
we'll put the guide, name to that too. <laughs> yeah, they changed their names. So yeah, I don't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, it's guide something. Guide something. Yeah. Um, Another way to bring your pet with you because you're taking a driving tour through the right, area, right. and so your dog can be in the car with you, and there's no problem. Sometimes it's a national park thing. Sometimes yeah, it's, a lot of those are national parks, yeah. and they're they are narrated guided tours mm -hmm. that are meant to be done from your vehicle. Yeah. So clearly, an, an, an easy place to also bring, bring your, your pet. pet. Yep. Yep. So um, his food, you know, one of the things that uh, you want to be want to make sure that's available to you is be able to get the food that your dog has on the road. And uh, Charlie has uh, or he eats the Akana dog food and mm -hmm. we can either get that at a pet store, a pet boutique or we order oh, from, Amazon. from Amazon. Yeah. 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 Uh, we give him the pet lab supplement. He really enjoys eating that. He's got another little something called what is it called gentle digest uh, we'll put pictures of this stuff and links up here um these are just the thing he's a senior dog too by the way I forgot to mention yeah, how old he is he's a he'll be 14 in september yeah he doesn't really act it no he um, acts like a puppy he really is quite sprightly still <laughs> yes, for his yeah. age but yeah. um um but yeah so we try to make sure to get him really good food yeah um and really good kind of a probiotic prebiotic yeah um you know to help supplements with, you know supplements to mm -hmm. help with digestion and whatnot but mm -hmm. he's in actually very good shape yeah he's in real aren't good you hot pokey aren't you you're a kitty boy oh, oh i know, I know. He loves mama. <laughs> <laughs> the last food that we give him is badlands ranch we oh my gosh we have a video of this he goes berserk he's always <laughs> been a finicky eater you know you put the food down he comes over he he's not one of those dogs where you put it down they just snarf it down mm -hmm. in two seconds his food sits over there for like and it's kibble it's, it's Kibble, kibble. Yeah. We've always given him kibble. Yeah. So, you know, we'll just leave it down and yeah. he grazes. He's always been a grazer, mm -hmm. except for with the Badlands Ranch. <laughs> he loses his noodle over that. He's practically <laughs> strangling himself. <laughs> Try to get it all down. Get it down so like fast. anybody else is going to eat it. Nobody else is going to eat that, Pokey. <laughs> and and it, we don't give him a full bowl. Yeah. I mean, he's not getting like double the amount of food. No. We give him a little bit of yeah. the Badlands. Yeah. Um, and then for this, again, for the kind of benefit, the health benefit. The health benefit of it, yeah. Um, and then he still gets his dry kibble. Yeah. And, and the other one is dry as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a yeah. dry food. Yeah. It's not quite as crunchy, yeah. I guess, but it is dry. He loves that stuff. Oh, I forgot. He gets a bone every night, too. A dental oh, bone. Kind of a dental. Um, yeah, it, we don't we don't use it, the the Greenies brand, yeah. but it's very Something similar like to that. that. Yeah, and so to we try to help keep these little teeth that he's got <laughs> that he's steadily losing <laughs> as he gets older. He's lost a few, yeah. just from age. Yeah. Um, in the two cleanings, but he still is doing really well with his teeth. Though. He, is. he has most of them. <laughs> yeah, he has most of them. So some of his favorite spots to go, and we've got some great photos of this. So Juniper's RV, he loved the sniffs of that RV park. We'll put a link to that video below and a photo of that. He loved Multnomah Falls in the, uh, what was that called? The Columbia River Gorge. Um, the Timberlake Campground. There was a these big hydra how do you, hydrangea? Hydrangea. hydrangea. I never say that I one right. I don't know if I said that right either. Bushes. And he just <laughs> had that nose all up in those hydrangea bushes. And then farmer's markets. He Whenever he can go into a farmer's market, he always finds some friends and some sniffs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he loves to get to the new places and yes. kind of sniff it and check it out. So yes. he, he loves these opportunities to, to try out these new new locations. Yeah, and even in campgrounds that have like fenced in doggy areas, that's another favorite spot for mm -hmm. him. He just loves to go in there and make his little mark. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the sniffs. And last but not least, he is an ambassador. Charlie is a fantastic ambassador. He makes friends everywhere he goes. He does. And every park we've gone in, we've got somebody that's bent down to say hi to Charlie because he's a, such a sweet yeah. boy. And I think one other thing on the on this other side here mm -hmm. was um uh, oh the, the the pet sitting yeah, the pet yeah. Sitting. oh yeah we need to mention that too yeah so when you're on the road you know if you don't want to leave your dog in your rv there's a couple of services that you can use yeah. um we used one we used one uh, uh rover right mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and the reason we ended up using this particular service um, in this instance is because we were going to be gone so, so long. So long, yeah. I mean, you know, Charlie's great in the RV for a few hours. Yeah. Um, you know, four or five hours. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's probably starting to push it. Um, just because we don't like to leave him here that long. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but on this occasion, we were going to be gone like seven, eight hours or something yeah. like that. And um, we just didn't want to leave. We didn't want to leave him here that long by, yeah. by himself. Yeah. So we found somebody um, 
Through the rover. On rover. And yeah. that's a phone app, right? It's, it's a app. phone app, yeah. And it was quite, it was a great service. Um, you can also use a daycare service. Local you know, daycare. Local yeah. doggy daycare. And then, of course, he has his kennel that we've used for shorter instances. For shorter, yeah. We forgot these visits, too. Yeah. How did I skip that? I don't know. Oh, dear. Anyway, so <laughs> some of his favorite visits <laughs> on the road. Uh, so we're, we've been on, on the road for almost three years now, and there's just been places all along the way where we've gone to visit people and have, and they, you know, let us bring our dog. And uh, one in particular was Mary's. Mary at, uh, yeah. that we met. Mary at the, and Chris. Mary and Chris that we met at Chimney, Chimney Rock. Rock Hike. That was a very memorable visit. That was very memorable. <laughs> They had some dogs. Yes, uh, yes. Jojo yes. was one of them. Yes. And Jojo and Charlie just, I don't know. <laughs> there was just something there. An interesting little uh, interesting little vibe, vibe there. Yeah. So. What video is that? Is that our, uh, I, I forget which video that is, but we'll put a link to that one below. That was a hilarious yeah, visit. It might, be, it might be our Durango one. I oh, yeah. Remember. Yeah, oh. I think it was the Oasis video. Yeah, Durango. Um, uh, and then Jody and Jones. Jody and Jones. On Wigby Island. Yeah. That was another yeah, memorable was visit. One. He got to run along the beach just like a puppy. Video. And it was a little too much for it you, was too, wasn't too it? Much. You don't want to break a hip. <laughs> <laughs> or throw up like he did Which in their did. house. Yes. Um, and then when Dana came to visit, he just enjoyed her visit and sat in her lap. And then when Carla came to visit, yeah, he and sat there somebody her. else I was just thinking of that came to visit. No, we went to go visit them. Yep. And now oh. I forgot who it was. Oh. And it was just in my head. Just in your head. Um, hmm. If I think of it, I'll put it on the bottom because yeah. it was somebody that I just thought of. Oh, um, and we brought Charlie. Then I can't remember who yeah. it was. Well, we'll anyway, think about it. We'll think about it. We'll put it on the bottom because I don't want to miss out, you know, mentioning them. But yeah. um, but he does have a, a good time visiting, um, you know, with some of the people that we've been able to either go visit or who have come to visit us. Yeah, yeah. So don't be afraid to bring your pet with you if you're full time RVing. If if you're, uh, you know, if you're even if you're part time RVing, if you're concerned or worried about having your pet on the road, there's so many options. Some of it does take a little bit of planning, but as you can see from the vet, the grooming, the space, the visits, the daycare, his favorite places, you know, food, ambassador, all that, you know, there's lots to having a pet on the road and it could be a really beautiful experience. And one thing I will tell you personally, for me personally, I never had a dog growing up, she did. But one of the things that I love so much about our precious little son, uh, Charlie here, is these little ears. <laughs> He's got better ears than humans. And so if there's a sound out there that we need to be alerted to, even though he's a senior dog, he can still hear. And I, that just is a level of safety that I appreciate. So yeah, it's, it's comforting. It is you know, very it's comforting. comforting. And, yeah. you know, he, he, he does dog things, right? He protects. Yes, the, he does. He protects the perimeter. The space. He protects <laughs> the perimeter. That's right. Um, the one thing we were a little worried about was would he bark at everything? Yeah. Um, and he doesn't. He you doesn't. Know, he's really, he's, he's really quite calm. Yeah. Um, you know, he's. You know, the breed can have a reputation of being excitable and, and, and you know, <laughs> hysterical. hysterical. <laughs> uh, but he's the opposite of that. He yeah. really is. He's, yeah. he's, in, he's quite calm. Yeah. And, but, but when he needs to, he will he'll sound he'll, the alarm. He'll, he'll jump right into action. <laughs> he really will. And I appreciate that. And it is comforting. So, hey, folks, what do you do with your pets on the road? Anything in particular that you do for how you get your pets food or, you know, where you take your dog for grooming if that's needed or vet services? Any of that stuff, we would love to know because we're traveling all over, mostly in the West, Colorado and to the West. But if you've got any ideas about it, we would love. Drop a yeah. comment below. Let us know your pet's name. Oh, what's your, yeah what's your pet's name and maybe what's your favorite place you have taken your pet for yeah. like a great hike yeah or a great walk or yeah. you know a location that you know was just really a fantastic spot that you were actually able to bring your pet yeah yeah well that's our mother's day salute to our pookie <laughs> <laughs> and you hear us refer to him as Pookie. That's his little that's, nickname. He has, he, has, nickname. he has many of them. But, he does, yeah. But yes. that's probably the one we call him most, and he does respond to that. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> but his name is Charlie. Yes. Yes. Charles so, de Gaulle. Yes. <laughs> well, and that's it, folks. So, yeah, we would love it if you'd introduce your pet below and tell us the nice places that you like to take your pet. And, um, you know, we'll see you on at the next yeah, stop. Subscribe. And, yeah. So, oh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And share. And... and we will we'll see, see you at the, at the next, next stop. Bye-bye. <laughs> take a few steps now, honey pie. Okay, take, take a few more steps. steps. Go okay, on. go ahead. Go over there. Okay. Okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> go, on. go ahead. Good boy. Good boy. Keep going. Keep going.
Keep going. Go to your bed. Go over here. Go over there. Go to your bed. He's like, what about the peanut butter? Keep going. I would rather have more peanut butter. He's like, I don't know. Wow, 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 wow.